Well, I guess today's mission is to get this off of the trailer, but back to where it is. Looks kind great. Of, kind of an odd mission, but um, it does look good. Ah, uh, wow. It's great to see this thing. Yeah. I did. Oh, good. Yeah, we're in a pretty, pretty good shape. God, I hate how this is actually starting to look better. <laughs> it's right. It's definitely increased it's, it's, in value since we pulled it out of the ditch. Darn. We thought we could use a tire to push the vans, and like, Craig was like, "Oh, you know, there's not tires running around, like laying around, like there's tires a tire right there, the relative to the van." So. I guess there are. You can't do that. It's slipping. It's slipping more every time. You can see the grass is all slipped. We literally cannot go forward and backwards more than maybe two more times. We're clearing the wall now. Yeah. We just hit the wall. Did we hit the? We hit the wall a little. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, we're in real nice shape. Why don't we just? If you, if you, let's put her down again. Let's put her down again, because we know it'll work. So long. Yeah. Well, all of the air is coming out of probably only right there. Looks like this tire is just just dissolved. Oh yeah, I can see through it. That's a hole. So okay, we got three tires holding 25 psi, one holding zero. Dan's van is there. We'll attach the two and then pull this one out in a danger way. We've got it. Uh, we've got kind of a, a brake set up here where it's sort of extrapolated to Dan's bus, so it can't roll far, forward too far. Oh, you, yeah. got, you got. At least it's, if it rolls forward, the fifty-five thousand dollars synchro will stop it. It's, we'll use this as a brake. It's you're good. You're hill. good. Yeah. All right, ready for some jacks. The plan yeah. is to take the transmission out, take that home with us to rebuild, and get the van back in the barn without dying. And the engine. And the engine. But that's it. But just that, and the speedo. What's this thing look like inside? This it exists. They burrowed into here, and they seem to exist there. That's their home. Is that a cat? Is that what lives there? It's a big hole. Pretty well picked through synchro. Well, it hasn't been picked through. All the parts are here. So there's a lot of companies making fuel injection stuff now, and they want this and this, like Mansi Speed and Go Westy, because they weld stuff on and adapt them. This AC compressor's worth nothing. Worth saving? No, not worth no, saving. It's not worth it. But the things like this boot's worth a bunch of heads money. are off. Are heads these are AMC shot. heads? No. I mean, those not. Clean up. Take us on a tour. What is this? So this is a 1987 Volkswagen Vanagon Synchro that I bought for a small amount of money. It contains the How right much? amount of. I don't remember. Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars with another van. It contains the right amount of spare windows. Oh, those are camper windows. I spare think those parts. Are and a lot of mice. It smells mousy. It smells terrible. Uh, has a cushion, a full width cushion. Good middle seat. Oh, this this is moldy, moldier. Where did we get all this spare? Then it's been factory uh, radio. Oh, look at that diff lock panel. Oh, it really smells like take the, the, it smells bad. Smells, Let's get out of here. Yeah, leave it open. It smells like the farm in there. It doesn't smell good. It smells like being being at home. <laughs> This is my gift to you. Do you need of this? What is it? <gasps> oh, rear bumper thingy piece. Oh, but you don't have a rear bumper. Of course, that's a factory bumper trim, which always just falls off and leaves you with holes in your bumper. Just archive that. No, it's like not pivoting. There we go. got it off it's off i bet this alternator is good i'll take nope. it 100 percent nope that's as broken as they get wow it doesn't move at all that's because i released all of the gasoline it stuns the nerves it dulls the mouse smell reinforcements have arrived more buses um so we got two bolts left to get yeah, off the axle something like that Got what we need. What you got? I got chisels. I got a couple different weird 12-point sockets, and uh, I got some new vice grips. 
So we're trying a 11 millimeter socket, 12 point to the outside. I don't know if you can. Not great. Okay, chisel. You got it? Yeah. Plan Z. Fresh uh, vice grips and tenacity. You can move this two part. Oh, you just snapped it. That's good though. You snapped the washer. That's good. Good. Yeah. That's good. You got it? I got it. What'd you do? I hit it with the chisel a bunch, which shocked it loose. And uh, yeah, now she's moving. I blame fate. I'm fate too. And so uh, Dan's down there getting the last one out, and then the axles are off, and that's then she should roll better. Um, I think the reason it didn't roll is because the transmission is attached to the engine, and the engine is completely seized. So it's probably that. Also, the clutch is probably stuck. So should be fine now. We'll see what's next. Rescue van, rescued van, rescuing van. Good times. This is all this is all original paint. Um, but what we don't want to mess up is the plastic because this is pretty nice too. So I'm just gonna oh, yeah. Direct removal process. There. And now the bumper cap. Do you need a hammer? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's get a hammer. So I mean this is not it's not bad paint, but the it's a, Oh there, it's that's off. That'll do. Here, I can yes. I can pop. Yeah, pop. pop, pop. Let's get in there and paintless dent removal by Dan. It's a feature. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's getting worse. Are you uh, cringing now? A little bit. I'm trading this brown um, rear wiper washer cover for two good tires delivered. So, thanks, buddy. So a little bit of super clean shit. It's foaming action. So. Oh yeah, right. It's good on the skin. Not sure that's the right way to do that, but. Okay, let's uh, let's switch spots. Yeah, you're Plans. good. Plans. Two wheel drive can't pull uphill. Doesn't have the traction. So we're going to switch who's basically breaking the trailer, and the synchro will pull it uphill. You Should do it. No, it's hitting right, right there. That's cool. Stop. Wow. This is terribly dangerous. That happened. We pulled and bad things occurred. Oh. Well, okay. we're giving up because uh, we couldn't get it off the trailer. It seems like the one hub is locked. And These things are so. garbage. I know. So basically, we've actually made the situation worse. Now the trailer's not in the barn. The car is stuck on the trailer, and the trailer's detached from any vehicle. Oh, um, you can't move the trailer because the ramps are down. Can't move the trailer because the ramps are down. So everything is worse, but we're going to go to the brewery. Okay. That's pretty much off now. Day two, it's back in the barn. It took a lot of effort and a hundred dollars, but a tow truck driver is willing to come and do some real weird stuff, tearing up the grass in the process, and it's in there. It's not as far in as I'd like it, and it's a little bit at an angle, but whatever, it is in there. It counts, it's installed. Yeah, you should attach. I should have just stopped. I think you should put the hitch on the car. Well, so the important thing is that the safety thing is good. Safety chains work great. I think I could that. You can that right in. And now the trailer's attached to the car. It's better. It's Good a feature. morning, friends. We're starting on another day of working on the Brown bus. We're going to get the transmission out. We're going to have a great northern adventure. And in typical Vanagon fashion, uh, it's 10 minutes before we're supposed to meet and leave. And I got a call that one of the buses is broken down. So um, I guess we get to go fix that. Then we get to begin the adventure. It's gonna be a fun day. Well, that makes sense. So, Kurt broke down because he took his gas tank out to clean it out and to reseal it. So now, can you fill your car full? Did you fill it full? 
No, I haven't gotten to the gas station. Oh yeah. So <laughs> all he really did was knock all the stuff loose. And then um, because he switched from an 85 to an 86 style with an adapter, now there's no filter in front of the pump. So all of the stuff clogged the pump. So we have to change the pump because the pump is now the filter to the filter. It's a good design. I am an expert at fuel supply. Wow. Added back in the little filter to catch the garbage coming out of the tank. Now that goes into the fuel pump, which goes into the canister filter. So it's double filter. Uh, he started breaking down again. So we're just gonna abandon him at the house here and he's gonna ride with me and we're gonna go do what we need to we're do. back. Another day of uh, playing with the Brown bus. This time I brought reinforcements. We're gonna have a good time. Well, and Kurt. What's up? Yeah. What? Sounds great. This is the new engine? Yeah. Air cooled. It's, nice. Uh, it's confidence inspiring. Good. When it's new, <laughs> new struts on just to, because they're easier. I just put a new tire on this side because it has air inside of it um, under pressure. So now the car will be safer. We'll do the other Warrior side too. Area of activity here. Kurt is taking out wiring harnesses and disabling, disconnecting things up there. And we got Sean here digging into the inside of the car, trying to find out what's under the back seat. Uh, ben is wearing good clothing and uh, <laughs> trying to get the trans out. And I'm handing tools. Oh, a bumper. Nice. This diff lock panel is very valuable, especially in brown. So it's in great shape. We're gonna, gonna keep it. It's a big old mouse nest. What's in there? Oh, oh my hand in there. creatures, yeah, they live there, that's their home. Well, I just ruined it. Well, that's good, you're a home wrecker. I'm a home wrecker. That's tangible. That's a lot. Well, we'll put it over there, that's where we'll store it. That's a good spot, that's a good spot. This is the wiring to the idle control box? Yep. It's, well, the harness is no good now, no use saving that. That's extremely broken. They ate the metal. Wow. wow. I've never hey, seen that. that. That's incredible. Well, that's shot. That okay. No there. longer saving the harness. Oh. Stuff. I don't know where that goes. There's a relay right there. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Factory original fog light switch. Look at that. That's a rare piece. Sean, you pulled this out. out. I'm proud of you. It says 88 VW. It's not a D code, but it's like definitely a late. It might be a D code. <laughs> so you, you got it. You got it out. I got it out. It's out. Okay. So we've got the uh, transmission off. We took the, the three on each side instead of the big guy. It's sitting on a Volvo scissor jack poorly and dangerously. And uh, now we'll pop the engine out and, you know, drop her down. What's the worst We're that could happen? trying to break the Wait, cradle frame bolts off. Is it? They're never going to come. Should be go, it should go. Should be hitting against Lefty the tidy, righty loosey. Right? That means nothing to me. This is gonna slip it. Yes, it's gonna hit against. Audi, loosey, any tidy. Again. If we're gonna use heat, we're gonna have fire extinguishers because this is made of wood and mouse nests. When in doubt, heat it for long. Especially with propane. Propane's just not hot enough. <sighs> yeah. Is it moving? Yep. Good. You're gonna hear me scream like a little girl. If it drops? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Is it stable? It's not that stable. Is it stable enough? Maybe. There's no way of knowing. Just full send. Just drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Yeah, it's moving. It's gonna get hung on something and then it'll all break. Good, keep going. I like the sounds. The sounds are good. Yep, keep breaking everything. That's it? That's it? I don't think so. Down. Oh, we're catching on this tin because we have one stuck bolt. So I think if someone jumps on it, you want to find it? put it over here. Yes, There's bomb. a set of wheels sitting here on the side of the barn. So we're going to need these to get her out because this is sort of hard to do on a dirt floor, it turns out. Somehow we'll get that under it. The oil filter, or oil filler, it's a really expensive component. So, Kurt, just go ahead and break that off. Yeah, just use all of your force. Oh, that's yeah. It. You, you, yeah, it's broken now. I don't know. That's synchro specific. You can't get those. You can't get a oil filter? Hammer for removals. Yeah, that's the way. That's Boop. the way. That's the way. It's out. Woo! We've removed it. Yeah. Great success. Beer o'clock. 
getting some separation here between the engine and trans. It's happening. That's off from that. This engine's probably totally ruined. But now we can take that home, stash this in there, and leave. Beautiful unit. Out in the sun on a beautiful day, hanging out with my buddies, Listening ripping apart a car. In the Good sun. times. Uh, now we gotta figure out how to put the engine in the middle of the car. Gotta turn it into a mid-engine. Gotta love a good mid engine van again. We'll get it. We don't need dirt getting in there. I did, I did, <laughs> I did like, you know, subconsciously like, put a blue towel in in case so dirt didn't there get in. There are giant holes in the engine. Right? Yeah, I, yeah, there's literally, this is just rusted completely through. Oil towel. Yeah, let's come out. You ready? Yeah. Nope, we're stuck on that. Uh, yep, keep going. That's the way. Yeah, that comes right oh, off yeah. like that. Look at that. Right He's down way. here taking some axles off his first time. It's a fun experience, but we're learning a lot. You got both axles off. Yeah. Good that job, man. Was, yeah, that's... I broke something on that. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's the, the the washer. You did an amazing job. That is a tough task. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Having yeah. never taken Seriously, a CV yeah. out, you got both of them off. Yep. Well done. We are all packed up. We've got everything we need in here. And uh, we got a, a, our crew kept growing. We had we traded people out multiple times today, and we are ready to roll. We're going to leave the bus We're going to leave this bus here. She's all tucked away. We've stolen its heart.